cut off is an English phrasal verb that has four different meanings, and we'll look at all of them in this short video. For general information on phrasal verbs, what they are, why they're awkward, etc., please check out the first video in this series. It goes into some basic information about phrasal verbs. Oh, and, and also, if you are interested in learning more about English grammar generally, I have a very popular Udemy course that you can check out. I'll put the link in the description. Anyway, let's go over to the PC and have a look at this distraction-free presentation about the English phrasal verb cut off. Now, cut off is a phrasal verb with four different meanings. And here's how we conjugate cut off. Infinitive to cut off, present participle cutting off, the past tense cut off, and past participle cut off. One of the most common uses of the phrasal verb cut off is to remove something with a knife or similarly sharp in instrument. And in this usage, the phrasal verb is separable. Examples, why did you cut off all your hair? You have to cut the tops off the carrots before you cook them. And here we see what we mean by separable, that there are words between the cut and the off uh, that are allowed. If they're non-separable, you can't, they have to be together. We also cut off when we stop the supply of something. This is usually a service, but it can also be money. And here the phrasal verb is not separable. Some examples, we forgot to pay the bill and they cut off our electricity. Or if my grades don't improve, my parents will cut off my allowance. So the first example was a service, the second was the money. We also cut someone off if we interrupt them and stop them from talking. It can also be on the telephone, not just in person. And here the verb is separable. We're out of time, I'm going to have to cut you off there. Oh, but please listen, don't just cut me off like you did last time. Okay, so in both cases they're being interrupted and they can no longer talk. You isolate or make contact difficult with someone if you cut them off as well. And here the verb is separable. But after the floods, the village was completely cut off. So in other words, there's no way to get to the village. Or he locked himself in his room and cut himself off from the rest of the world. So he isolated himself. If you have any questions about phrasal verbs, specifically phrasal verb cut off, uh, Please use the comments, ask your question, I'll definitely give you an answer. See you next time. Bye for now.